Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 28th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for today, as it has been very busy for the past 48 hours, producing multiple M-class solar flares. One very strong one, almost an X-class, and as well, another long-duration solar flare. Plasma filament to observe there from the cresting limb. Looking at the last two days incoming, this is where that large solar prominence is spinning around the surface of the sun. It's well active sunspot region, bright and fiery right there with solar flares. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Another plasma shot there. A couple of plasma filaments, multiple CMEs on their way towards Earth. If you've been paying attention and getting notified for the last few videos, stay up to date. Large plasma filament cresting into view. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is mammoth. And then very active sunspot regions and as well another plasma shot there. And just recently, strong M-class and long duration M-class coming from these two sunspot regions. About 11 sunspots are packed into those very populated regions. Having a look at multi-spectrum, coronal hole turning away, one building in the southern hemisphere, and then another look here at our sun showing multiple, there's not, if not eight M-class solar flares, earth-facing position, R2 radio blackouts and coronal mass ejections on their way. Eight sunspot regions Earth facing right now. Current space weather conditions we are under R2. Moderate radio blackout, blackout impacts are expected. Solar winds are coming in at 384 kilometers per second right now, slightly above average. A long duration solar flare M class producing the R2 radio blackout solar storm and there is a coronal ma mass ejection on its way solar x-ray flux showing all of these solar flares four in the past 24 hours since last night's update and four reported before that solar proton flux is low geomagnetic activity is low sitting at about a 2.5. Let's have a look at our Space Weather Prediction Center, showing that large coronal mass ejection heading towards Earth, hurling towards Earth. Expected impact date 30th into the 31st of July. This is going to be a large geomagnetic event. We can expect northern lights and as well geomagnetic instability, strong fast solar winds and this is all connected electromagnetically to us on this planet and everything that lives on it so heads up everybody and share this video with your friends and family and thank you for almost eighty thousand followers around the world keep sharing and caring having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral not showing any new coronal mass ejections since the most recent. This is depicting all of the sun's solar energy spiraling around and towards all of the planets in our solar system. Little green circle is Earth. Let's have a look at Alaska too, showing all of that space energy taking off from the sun. Halo CME from the most recent M-class solar flare right there and as well right there halo cme solar storm on its way to earth expected arrival date july 30th now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've calmed down since all of the hawaii earthquake swarm sitting at just about 220 earthquakes in a 24-hour period some pretty deep earthquakes here band of sea and northward up into the Marianas Trench, Indonesia, Tobilo, 
Merapi had a pretty large eruption. No deep earthquakes in Fiji. Normally we see something deep here. Something's off. 5.3 magnitude reported there off the coast of Mexico yesterday, and as well another 4.5 here reported in Hermley, Texas. Fracking is station central. Dominican Republic, pretty quiet. Other than that, nothing major to report for earthquakes, but notable activity here at Marianas Trench, Salpan, and northward up into Japan. Quick glance now at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to say thank you for watching. And please don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy all of this content. Very important information shared, keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and space weather. This is depicting the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Heads up, we haven't seen any deep earthquakes the last few days. Expecting something to come. But all the activity west of Ring of Fire and through Mariana. A little bit concerning and as well Central America. And this big quiet zone Pacific Northwest Cascadia Fault. Much love everybody and hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please share. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes from across the planet and as well wildfires that are burning, somewhat being snuffed out through Alberta. But California still is ravaging with wildfires right now. Having a look around the world. No new volcano eruptions to talk about. But notable up there in parts of eastern Russia and Japan. Heavy SO2 content coming from those regions. And as well through Africa and up into the Arabian Plate. An active interrupting 48 volcanoes around the world is helping to induce all of this sulfur dioxide content. And that is still slightly above average. Now let's have a look at world weather. Starting here in North America, high pressure ridge moving in and as well very warm temperatures. So watch for daily evaporation rains across most of eastern. Low pressure system scooting across the northern prairies will bring some relief to all of those drought stricken regions. Long range forecast showing a strong low pressure system here raking up the Florida coastline and up into the Carolina states. Watch for severe weather with that and possible hurricane development. Stay tuned. Overlooking Europe, and Africa, Southeast Asia, strong low pressure system scooting through Eastern Europe and into Western Russia. Things staying pretty dry through France over the next couple of days for the Olympics, but big low pressure system scooting down from Iceland is set to change things in the long range forecast. Overlooking Australia, Strong low pressure system off the coast of Sydney right now, heading towards New Zealand. Lots of moisture associated with that and a very large low south of Western Australia. Watch for waves of moisture to scoot in there Thursday into Friday. No typhoons developing in the long range, but strong low moving into the South China Sea could have some potential. Going to share here with you all of our ocean temperatures as well. As things are really warming up, it is summertime and we've got extreme heat across the nations and across other continents. So stay hydrated, everybody. We've got a warming gulf here, looking at temperatures in the gulf of 31 degrees Celsius. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay aware and prepared. And thanks again for almost 80,000 followers. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know where you're watching from and maybe share with a friend or family member that may enjoy this content. Having a look here at 
sea surface temperatures, things are definitely warming up across the planet. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you for next video. And if you're enjoying those shorts that I'm putting out, please don't forget to hit up the latest one and let me know how much you dig it. And I'll keep them coming. Much love, everybody. And I appreciate you all being a part of this awareness. The most amazing and loving community on YouTube. Check out these temperatures. Through the Suez Strait. India Strait. South Indian Ocean. Things are really warming up. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.